Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradi Kumar. Let's start a new video uh, that is PID part 2. Okay, I have already uploaded the PID part 1 in the description. You can easy to find. Okay, after that, come on this video. Okay, in this video, we are attached Arduino plus motor plus PID. Okay, uh, this program is same as like a uh, PID part 1. Okay, after that, come on the part 2. Okay, now let's start come uh, and interlink servo motor with PID. Okay, press Ctrl T. Okay. Now uh, this programming is same in PID uh, part one. Okay, first you go and visit part one. After just come on second part. Okay, right click here and come to Arduino and click to sensors. Click to servo. Okay, and pin this part. Okay, now uh, first we need to configuration servo. Pin this and drag here. Okay, the next one is we need to uh, servo right angle. Click and drag here. Then need servo read angle. Okay, drag here. Okay, and then we need a one that is set number of servos. Okay, then click and drag here. Okay, all done. Okay, first we do programming. After that, come on the uh, wiring diagram. Okay, and uh, link hardware uh, with uh, Arduino. You know. Okay, now what we do? Select this part. Control space. Control W okay now all connected okay uh, right click here and click to visible item click to label okay okay same here right click here and visible label okay this is servo read angle and this is servo right angle okay okay now what we do right click here come to arduino and we need to int and close okay int drag here okay and need a close drag here okay now all done what do you do again uh, arduino resource to connect arduino resource and error out to error out okay error out to error in sorry okay now uh, right click here and create a control okay okay this is your com port okay now increase the size okay all done okay and same here connect arduino resource to arduino resource okay and error out to error in okay okay now all done and you see have a number of servos okay right click here and create a control or you can create a constant but now i'm create a control okay this is number of servos okay if you are using lots of servos like one two three four that's why you need to and declare here okay now i am using servo one only okay then and you see servo number and dio pin number servo number right click here and create a control this is servo number which servo you use okay i am using this is my servo uh, zero means zero means one that's why i am enter here zero okay increase the size okay this is dio pin right click here and create a control this is digital okay uh, is in your servo motor have our one pin that is signal wire okay the color is yellow okay you need to attach on your arduino board pin number two okay as per requirement now i am using a two pin number two okay arduino pin number two okay now uh, drag here okay okay all done okay now you see have a servo number and angle degree uh, now i am using a servo zero that's why create a create a control otherwise you can create a constant and i am enter here zero okay this is my servo number zero okay and this is angle degree okay now it's very important because help of this your servo is rotate okay now i am tell you later about this okay this is servo number again then i am using a zero number then i connect here okay and this is your angle read okay you can if you need then you can uh, right click and 
create a indicator otherwise you leave this part okay now i not need okay all done in part one we already discuss about lcv this is your uh, liquid control wall okay help of this we can control our servo motor okay instead of this okay if this angle is moved then your servo motor also indicate in hardware okay then we need to connect uh, this parameter to uh, your servo angle okay now what you do uh, you see how this is your lcv okay now what you do this is uh, your uh, wire of lcv output okay liquid control wall okay this is your control uh, wall is analog uh, like um, open and close uh, like a variation like 0 to 100 percent okay it's control uh, your wall uh, like a liquid now what you do click this connect this terminal and connect to your angle degree okay means if have a some value that value go to your servo right and your servo is rotate in that degree okay and uh, okay now all done okay control t okay okay let's uh, modify this uh, diagram now i drag here this is our graph okay and uh, this is our like comport okay and this is our number of servo i am using a one okay and change the color also as per requirement like style and come to color and click to black okay same here drag this part and drag this one also okay again select this and change the color color black okay same here color black okay now increase their size number of servo again this one same here okay now all done okay now let's come on the hardware okay okay now let's come okay guys and you see this is our arduino you know okay and this is our servo motor okay it's a small servo motor okay and now i'm tell you about this and you see how uh, about uh, detail tower pro okay micro servo 9g okay I am using this one otherwise if you have other servo like uh, this one also like this is your pro and heavy torque okay you can use this one also okay but now I am using this one because have a knob it's indicate okay okay guys and now let's come on the wiring okay and in this way I have a three color red brown and yellow okay red one red, uh, red one is center red one connect to your arduino 5 volt okay and have a brown wire brown one brown wire connect to your ground okay this one okay and have a one wire that is yellow signal wire and you need to connect to the pin number two because in the program we declare already declare uh, pin number two and you see here okay pin number two okay that's why i am connected here pin number two of the arduino you know okay that's a uh, all connection okay no need to other okay now let's uh, connect your uh, arduino you know to your laptop okay now what we do uh, you need to run your program okay now run my program okay uh, but you need to select a com okay sorry then click to visa and collect a com refresh it and uh, now uh, my com is this one okay select your com then click to run and you see it's running okay it's blink then it's working well okay this is your angle now what we do 
first uh, i'm uh, set a set point is zero then let's okay as now you see set point i enter here zero okay and that's time your lcv is not able to transfer liquid one place to another place okay zero means your lcv is fully closed and that's why your tank is empty okay and you see servo angle uh, this side means zero uh, this side is zero and uh, uh, means your lcv is fully closed okay if this uh, angle is or we can say this knob is moved to 45 degree that means your lcv is fully open okay it's very as per your lcv value okay now you see when i increase the set point okay now you see when i increase set point is 90 degree okay that time your lcv is fully closed oh, sorry fully open that's why your tank is uh, going to fill okay if it's uh, try to nearby set point that time your lcv is try to uh, closed now you see it's try to close okay you see okay it's try to maintain the temperature you see it's very same as uh, depend upon your lcv okay lcv vary then it's servo motor also vary okay means uh, this is your lcv okay liquid control wall okay now your wall is uh, like a midpoint okay it's try to maintain the level of your tank now you see in the live view as well as uh, in the hardware servo motor okay now you see if i uh, set point is decrease like a 40 degree then now it's time your uh, lcv is fully closed and your tank is going to empty help of liquid out if your uh, tank level is nearby a set point that time your wall is try to open now you see it's try to open okay it's try to open and maintain the your uh, output or we can say tank liquid okay guys when okay. you see That's when i again uh, set point is 10 okay that time you see now it's your lcv is fully closed and your uh, liquid is going out liquid out if your liquid is nearby your set point that time your uh, we can say lcv is try to open to maintain the your liquid you see when your liquid is nearby your set point nearby 10 that time your wall is try to open okay let's see okay now 10 and you see it's try to move okay you see it's try to maintain maintain your liquid okay have a little uh, open okay in this between your liquid is flow uh, in this pipe and uh, maintain your liquid output okay let's take a final example also when i again increase like a 90 okay now you see lcv is fully open liquid transfer your tank if your tank is nearby your set point then give the signal to your lcv lcv try to close your wall like you see it's try to close okay okay in this between and it's try to maintain your liquid in the tank now you see it's very okay you can make a big project help of this okay you can uh, choose lcv okay purchase lcv this that is liquid control wall okay it's expensive but if you make a, uh, like a advanced project then you can use it otherwise uh, you can take example of servo motor also okay guys you can uh, modify as per your comment okay okay let's take if i again 30 then you see lcv is your zero means your liquid control wall is closed and your tank level is going to empty if this level is nearby your set point then give to signal lcv lcv is try to open the wall to maintain the temperature or sorry maintain the liquid you see it's little open then it's try to maintain your liquid level as per your set point okay it's amazing project okay guys and thank you so much guys if you like this video please like and subscribe to our channel thank you so much guys